Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm super excited to restart my YouTube journey again after two years. Just to give you a bit of context about my channel. So this channel will be helpful for all the data engineers, data scientists, data analysts, or any other data related guy. So if you want to switch into this particular domain, or if you are already in this domain and finding it hard to crack your interviews. So this channel will be helpful for you in many ways. So just to continue with, I will be restarting my SQL series, which I have started two years back. So I will be continuing that series. Today I'm bringing a new question into that series and going forward, we will be bringing many questions of Python, cloud computing, AWS and PySpark as well, which is a very hot topic in the data engineering market right now. So if you think these things can help you, then please do subscribe to this channel and also share this channel with others who are finding it hard to crack their interviews. So let's move on to the today's question then. So the problem statement says you are given employee data which represents user login and logout activities of a particular day with corresponding timestamps. So this is the data called as employee action which contains employee ID, employee activity and activity time. So activity can be any activity like login, logout for a particular employee and activity time this time is a whole of a particular day and that day here is 12 0, 1, 24 and this is the timestamp which is provided to us like 10 pm 10 30 pm or am whatever it is so now what our problem statement is saying it says calculate total work duration of every employee in minutes so we have to calculate work duration for every employee for example here we are given two employees one and two so we have to calculate work duration for employee one and two in minutes. So let's see how our sample output will look like. So this is how the output is expected. This is the ID one and this is its work duration. So ID one is working for 60 minutes on that particular day and ID two is working for 30 minutes on that particular day. So this is how we have to provide the data now let's firstly see how this output is coming and after that let's see the approach to solve this question so here we can see the output was employee one is working for 60 minutes and employee two was working for 30 minutes so how that is coming so you can see here employee one is logging in at 10 and logging out at 10 30 that means he's working for 30 minutes here and again he's logging in at 11 and logging out at 30 so 30 plus 30 that means 60 minute employee one is logging in for 60 minute on complete day similarly for employee two he is logging in at 9 and logging out at 9 15 that means he is working here for the 15 minute and after that again he is logging in at 9 45 and logging out at 10 that means he is again working here for the 15 minutes so that is complete activity for employee two is 30 minutes again so that's how we are deriving into this particular output now let's see the approach to solve this question. So first of all, there can be multiple ways to solve a particular problem. So if you think you can solve this question, you can pause this video here and try the solution from your end. If you are able to solve it, then it's well and good. If not, then you can try the approach which I'm going to show here right now. So here, how we can solve this particular problem, what we can do whenever some login is happening, we can try to find a logout time also for that particular login. For example, we'll create a new column here called as logout time so whenever some login is happening we can try to find out logout time as well for that particular login here for example for this login this is happening at 10 am and logout is happening at 10 30 am so here we will calculate logout time as well which will be 10 30. now this is logout we will ignore this record for this login again login time is 11 we will try to find out logout time so the logout time for this login is 11 30. So this is how we will get the logout time for this particular login as well. Now logout we can ignore as we have already taken this time here. And now again, this is a login time and login time is nine. So here we will try to find out logout time. So logout time for this login is 9.15. So we will put that 9.15 here. And after that, we can ignore this logout. For this login, we are getting logout time as 10. So we will mention that time here. So this is a logout activity, this is again logout activity, this is logout, and this is logout, which we can ignore. Once we have found the logout time, after that what we can do, we can try to find out the difference between both these columns. That is logout time, which we have calculated and login time, which is given here. So we can call that as a new column, div. So 
if here if we see the difference from 10 to 10 30 that will be 30 here in the logout time we can ignore this so this will be zero here from 11 to 11 30 the difference will be again 30 minutes so this record we can ignore here from 9 to 9 15 the difference will be 15 here we can ignore it let us call this as zero from 9 45 to 10 the difference will be 15 minutes again and this one we can ignore so once we have this calculated column after that we can simply group the data by id and if we group this data by id then we will do some of this diff column also then we will get 1 60 minute that is for id 1 the work duration is 60 minute and for id 2 the work duration will be 30 minute and that is what is expected in our output so this is the approach to solve this question now let's see how we will do this in the query first of all let's check the data which is provided to us in the problem statement so here we are checking this employee activity table this is having three columns called as id activity and the activity time and this data is same as what we have seen in our problem statement as well now let's move on to the query part in query part similar to our approach we will try to make nested queries so we will try to modularize the query and we will try to solve this problem in a step by step manner so in first step we will try to calculate a logout time column so this is the nested query which i have written for that so when i am executing this you can see i am calculating logout time here so how i am coming into this logout time for every login i am getting a logout time and for logout we are getting nothing for login again we are getting logout time so how i have calculated this time i have used case statement whenever activity is login then i am finding lead of that activity time so i'm getting lead of this activity time and i have partitioned the data by id that is for every id i am sorting the data by time and after that i am calculating lead of that particular activity time and this is done for the login only you can see when activity is equals to login then only i am calculating lead of time <coughs> so here you can see this is the login activity and here i'm getting lead of time lead means next column or data from the next column or the next row sorry data from the next row so here you can see i'm getting 10 30 here the next row is 11 30 so i'm getting 11 30 here here the next row is 9 15 so i'm getting that 9 15 here and here the next row is 10 so i'm getting that 10 here so this is the one, first uh, part to solve this question now what we will try to do we will try to calculate diff between logout time and the lo uh, activity time of the login time diff means the difference between the two columns so again we are just creating one more query on this only and in that query we will be needing id only and we are calculating date diff that is difference between the dates in minutes so i have written this particular formula for that this is date diff is provided to us by ms sql server so i am using that and we are calculating difference between activity time this column which is login time as well and logout time so this is the logout time which we have already calculated now we will try to fetch this or query this data so now we will get id and difference in minutes so for id 1 30 and again for id 1 we are getting 30 minutes so for id 2 we are getting 15 minutes and again for id 2 we are getting 15 minutes so once we are done till this point after that the problem statement becomes very simple we need, simply needs to group the data by id on this diff column and we have to take the sum of diff column so here what we have done we have done select id comma sum of diff id and sum of diff and group the data by id so when i run this query i will get final output which is id and the work duration this sum column i am naming it as work duration so once this is done i will be getting 160 to 30 so this is how we will get our final output so this is the one way using which we can solve our query here we have used two nested queries and top of that i have written one final select statement this is the simplest possible way to solve this question so if you are good in writing sql queries and if you have got the approach you can completely solve this question in one select statement as well if you know how to do that then you can let me know about that approach in the comment section and if you want me to do that then also you can do let me know in the comment section i will provide you that particular select statement so that's it about this video guys if you have liked this video then please share it with others and also subscribe to my channel and also please do let me know about your feedback in the comment section in the upcoming days i will be bringing more such videos related to sql and also related to python and pyspark as well so if you think those things can help you then please do subscribe to this channel to stay updated thank you mm -hmm.
Thank you.